The girls really be going acting like they're going somewhere. Girl, you ain't going nowhere. You going to Kmart. <laughs> Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It's another get ready with me. Click, 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 click. Mm. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Obviously I'm doing, girl, I'm doing all right. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I'm scattered, I'm all over the place. I'm hungry, it's that time of the month so it's a lot going on. I still feel like I look cute. Y'all see this hair? Ah! And I always have to feature the scalp, girl. That's what we doing. We featuring the scalp over here. I am burning up. I can't even think straight. So today we're going to be featuring this gorgeous hair on my head. Look at this hairline. Bam. Pre-plucked. Ready to go. I paired my makeup with this hair. So I wanted something really, really effortless and pretty. And I think I achieved that. But you know, when you be in a mood, we be trying to put on your makeup. It just end up be like, eh. So this is a look that we got. Very simple. No eyeshadow. Just color. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bronze. Just to match the hair. And I want to say thank you to Wild African Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this video. First, I'm going to show you how I achieved this look. Um, we're going to start with our hair and then we're going to go ahead and get into the face and then girl, we're going to bounce up out of here. So if you want to see how I got this look or get more details on this gorgeous, gorgeous hair, please keep on watching and I'll be back to do the face. So before we talk about the wig, let's get into the packaging. Your wig is going to come in the wild African box and inside that box, I received some gifts along with my wig, lashes, hair clips, rat tail comb, a satin band for the hairline and some really sheer uh, wig caps, but I also received my wig. This is what the wig looked like straight out of the packaging. You can see the hairline is already giving. Now this wig is a 13 by six reddish brown glueless HD lace wig in the style number GW02. It is 18 inches long, 150% density and a cap size small. Now this wig is featuring a fitted glueless wig cap with a large parting space, which means it's six inches back. You can part behind that top part of your head, girl, so the people won't see the tracks. It also comes with a real HD lace and clean bleach hairline. Look at this hairline. And it comes with, of course, 100% human hair, soft and smooth. And baby, when I tell you this hair is crazy soft and crazy silky, I was like, um, what's going on here, girl? What's with all this silk, okay? Does hair come in silk? Cause it was giving silk. Now we're gonna go ahead and flatten this hairline. This hairline's already pre-flattened and pre-done, but you know me, I gotta do a little bit extra to this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my wax stick after using my Dyson blow dryer attachment to flatten it. I'm also going to use my wax stick from Amazon, the She's Bone wax stick. And to go over it, I'm going to use my Red by Kiss hot comb. Now this Red by Kiss hot comb, it's a good comb. I mean, you can get the Andis one as well. I don't know why I'm going on and on about this comb, but it was able to flatten that hairline to perfection. Do you see this hairline? Do you see how it looks like it's growing out of my scalp already, baby? I haven't even laid it down. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and cut off those ear tabs. I always have to cut a little bit off of my ear tabs because it's too long for my head. I already told y'all this before. I have a teeny tiny head. So we need to go ahead and cut that extra lace off. Now I'm also going to cut off the lace off the front and next we're going to apply the lace. Y'all see, I'm using a different melting spray today. We're going to use the wig dealer melting spray to apply this wig. I always forget how good this product is, but it is amazing. I got it from like an Instagram store, but wig dealer is everything. So I went online, I purchased a wig dealer spray and I added it to this faux head grub. <laughs> When I tell you this thing melts, it melts. I don't even know why I did a tutorial on how I use this melting spray, but when I tell you it is amazing, I just spray it over top of the lace and I allow it to melt down into the skin and that's it. I don't apply, I don't apply it under the lace because it gets a little bit messy. I get a better result when I spray it over the lace, allow it to dry a little bit and then hit it one more time. Now we do a little extra, extra for them ear tabs because you know how those ear tabs is built. Them ear tabs is built to ruin your life. So to make sure they stay where they need to stay, I give them a double spray. Bars. <laughs> now next we're going to go ahead and get into styling this hair by getting into those baby hairs. Now baby hairs are really important to me. I really don't think though that this wig really required baby hairs. It looked good just straight out the head, but there's something about a baby hair that makes it look much more realistic to me. And my baby hairs, you already know, they're teeny, eeny, weeny, tiny, 
honey who shrunk the kids okay sort of baby hair so i'm gonna go ahead and use my tweezers and i'm gonna go ahead and tweeze out those baby hairs and i like to use this lace putty from amazon I go on and off with using this lace putty, but today, baby, she showed up and showed out. It really just molds the hairline softly without being too harsh. Sometimes gel is just, it's too harsh. But this is very soft on the hairline. And you can see how I laid it down. It's giving edges, not baby hairs. Now, I'm usually bad at my ear tab baby hairs, but what I noticed was, baby, I just needed to cut it down a little bit. So I chopped it down a little bit more to make it look really, really tiny. And that's how it looks more realistic. I just figured that out today, baby. I've been struggling with the baby hairs. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Just go ahead and lay them things down. And I like to use some wig dealer spray just to make sure the baby hairs don't pop up. Because sometimes, girl, they be trying to pour it on my forehead. And we don't have time for that. So once that's completely laid down and their ear tabs are done and very, very modest, we can go ahead and get into styling this hair. Or what am I doing now? Showing off this hairline, girl, I'm, what am I getting into? I was like, girl, let's get to styling. <laughs> I'm annoyed with myself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and melt down this hairline using the Wild African Sash. And I like the satin sashes because I think the satin sashes melt better by using your skin's oils and allowing the, the oils to make the lace melt. I find that the elastic band doesn't do as good of a job, so. I love using the Wild African Sash. Now next, I'm going to go ahead and chop down those ends because the ends weren't bad, but they're not as blunt as I like them. So we chopped those down as well. Now we're going to go ahead and get this hairline going. Well, this layering going. Girl, what world am I in? This is layering. You already know how I like to do it. I don't know how to cut professionally, so I like to work in sections. So I do that first triangle, trim it down, and then I'm gonna use that first triangle as a guide to trim down the hairs on the side. So I kinda just measure it out in my head and see if this is gonna work, and usually it does. You can see how much better that looks just to trim off those ends. Now next I'm gonna go in and do my second triangle. I usually do the rule of threes, girl. I do three triangles, and then I chop down the hair at the front, and then I do a point cut. I forgot to do it on the last chop, but girl, that's okay. We're going to point cut that down and do one more teeny tiny triangle in the front. And point cut. And that's how we get like more of a layered sort of look. I don't think I get a good gradual layered look, but I still get the volume and like the curtain bangy sort of vibe, as you can tell. Like, look at it. It has much more movement. It looks so good. Now we need to go ahead and reveal this hairline. And look, baby, it's melted. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. I know y'all get sick of me saying that, but I'm gonna keep saying it when it's true, friend. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take my Conair blow dryer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get the lumps and bumps out of the hair before we get to curling this hair. I love, no, this is not Conair, baby, it's Revlon. We're gonna take the Revlon blow dryer. And once you blow dry it out, you can see that this hair is gorgeous when it's straight. But I want a little bit more of a little bump, 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 like a little bit of a little speed bump in this hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and section out the hair. And y'all already know what tool I'm gonna use. Go ahead and say it before me, the Chi Spinning Curl. I love this thing. If you don't know how to curl or when you use your curling iron, girl, you be dazed and confused. <laughs> go ahead and get you a Chi Spinning Curl. Basically, you just take the hair, you hold it into that little section in the front, push the button backwards, it adds the hair to it, I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but you can see what it does. It just curls the hair automatically, girl. That's the best way to describe it. And I like to curl it away from the face. And once that's done, of course, I'm just gonna go in and define my part because y'all know I don't do the ball cap method. So we need to define this part, make sure it's not looking cattywampus at the front. And next I'm gonna take my Pantene air spray and we're just gonna spray the hair down just to make sure we got a little bit of hold in there to make sure them curls don't go nowhere. Now next, we're just gonna go ahead and fluff out the curls and see what they look like. And they look so pretty. Like this hair is like so silky. It feels like strange to my fingertips. It's so silky because I'm so used to textured hair. But look how pretty this looks. Like I love that curl style at the front, but I kind of want it more of a little flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Vasari 
round brush electric curler. I don't know what you call this, girl. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I just curl it up and away from the face and I just keep spinning it upwards and away from the face and pull it back. And that's how you get that flipped back look. Look, like the fair faucet. Is that the fair faucet? What do you call it, girl? That look, oh my God, it looks so cute. It was so easy to curl. Now, one thing I did notice about this hair is that it didn't really hold a curl well, but I was okay with that because it still kept the wave as I wore it, wore it throughout this video. You can see how gorgeous it looks. And I want to say thank you again to Why African Hair for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now we can go ahead and get into the face. Y'all check out the coupon code. Check out the links down below. Now let's go ahead and get this face together. Hey y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face. Mm. I get so sick, sick of sweating. Every time I do my hair, I start sweating because... You know, like the hot tools and the blow dryer and the curlers and next you know, I'm sweating or I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get into doing this face. I'm actually running out the door because I have to go pick up this Nordstrom order. And y'all know I do um, orders for pickup. If you're a pickup girl, please let me know because I feel like I'm not the only one. I don't like shopping. So for the face, we're going to do something very simple. Because we got to get out of here. Oh, that felt so good. Literally, my back is on fire. Why am I so hot? I just drank a hot tea too. Literally, no sense over here. Where's my fan? Girl, <laughs> let me fan it. Oh, y'all, y'all see my skin? <laughs> my skin has been doing her big one because I've been using the ordinary. Nobody told me about the ordinary. Y'all told me about the ordinary, but nobody told me. I had a flare up coming and baby, it's calming down. I, I think we done found something. Okay. Okay. So for around the mouth and discoloration, my discoloration is getting a lot better. I used to have more of like a dark mark here, but I'm going to go ahead and use a concealer. This is the MAC NW45 um, Studio Fix Concealer. Baby, I need some more of this because ain't nothing in here. But I'm just going to get around the mouth because I just have discoloration like in small areas. Nothing too big. Just in the corners of my mouth. You already know. And I'm going to go a little bit under the eyes. And now we're about to go ahead and blend all of this in. And then we're going to go in with the concealer. Make it simple. I feel like I told y'all before I was going to do some makeup shopping. I was supposed to go to the Sephora sale. And I just never made it. Uh, I don't even know if it's still going on. I don't think so. What y'all get from the Sephora sale? I think I do want to get some travel perfumes because the perfumes I got, girl, I be smelling like one of them. I thought it was real good, but it be smelling old ladyish. But I wore it one day and I said, girl, I smell like Red Door. <laughs> Chanel number five. What's going on? So I haven't worn it. I mean, I'm just going to have it in my collection, but it's just a little bit strong. Like y'all know that mature smell that's what it gives and i don't want that i don't want to smell mature so that was the nw45 now we're going to take the mac studio fix 24 hour concealer and i'm going to take this under the eyes is mac i know like now people buy makeup based off of trends and i think that's like the hardest part for me like people buy makeup based off of trends and i feel like um because of the clock app girl People be buying like crazy and I feel like I cannot keep up. So I'm a consistency girl. Meaning like if it works for me, I'm gonna be consistent with it. I'm loyal to the brands that I like. If I like it, that's what I'm rocking with. But when you on TikTok and stuff like that, everybody's like, you should try this, you should try that, you should try this. How much money do you think of in my bank account, girl? I just wanna, I'm on TikTok. They're like, ooh, try this, try this, try this, try that. I guess that's how y'all feel about wigs, so. Girl, I just read myself. Girl, we are halfway done. Cause I'm not trying to look too heavy around here. I'm just trying to look light. Refresh, if you will. Okay, just blend it up to the forehead and then blend downwards. I don't think I blend that well because I be just rushing. We are gonna blend around, down, around the mouth. For the lips, I use the Laneige um, lip balm. That's what I need to go back and get. I need to get that. I've been doing a lot of shopping. Now, I'm not a shopping girl, but I've been doing a lot of online shopping. Girl, my back 
This is feeling a little bit better in here. The air is blasting. Girl, it's on 68, so something's gotta give. I've been doing like a lot of online shopping because I'm really trying to get my life together. I'm really trying to get these outfits together. I wanna give looks. Sometimes I feel like I be giving like, okay, girl, you look cute or whatever today, but I wanna give a look. This is the pattern I'm gonna use today. I told y'all, I stopped using it for a second because I started using Bobby Brown, but this one, I feel like she eats the best. This is the Black Radiant Soft Focus powder in golden almond finish i told y'all i'll be loyal and i just love how it looks like it's so light but it sets the makeup really well but it reflects well i think that's what it is because the coverage isn't really super high it reflects something about this finish like it, it's powdery, but it reflects well on camera, you know? I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown Espresso Concealer. Now, I feel like, I don't know if this is too deep. Hold on, let me see. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I know I'll be earned, so. Oh yeah, um, ooh, <laughs> well, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for me to overdo it. It's a little, you know what I'm saying? It's a full coverage concealer. And I got most of this makeup from the CCS, CCO. So, um, I think I only paid. I didn't pay that much for this. Let me blend this out. I just need to know I'm gonna, <laughs> I need to learn how to blend, babes. The girls really be going, acting like they're going somewhere. Girl, you ain't going nowhere. You going to Kmart. <laughs> that is not showing up. It's not showing up on my lace. Let's see, y'all, this is what be happening to me. It don't show up on my lace, and now I gotta go in. I'm gonna take some of this stick foundation from Bobbi Brown and see if I can go in and get the lace to come to, to, come to the party. Yeah, because that's why it's like, I think I need to, when I don't use foundation, this is what happens. Like when I use foundation, like my lace fall in line, but when I don't, it really do be tripping. So I need to go in. I may have to go in afterwards with a lace tint just cause it is. I know the girls be using powders and stuff, but my skin is too dry for that right now. Girl, I'm gonna have to go in with a lace tint. That is so annoying. <laughs> We're gonna go under the chin and then beside the nose. But how are y'all doing? That's what I meant. I'm sorry, I'm being rude. I didn't even ask how y'all doing. You doing good? Y'all let me know down below how y'all are doing. I've been doing great, like great. I feel good, I'm finding peace. Cause I feel like I'm in me and peace, we ain't been we ain't been like this. We've been like this. <laughs> Shout out to the peace. We ain't been peacing. I don't know what's been going on, but girl, I've been having stuff going on. And I haven't allowed myself to get some peace. But now I feel like I feel some peace in my life right now. And I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. So I wonder if I should set the outside of my face or can I just leave it? Do I need to set it? I don't think I need to set it. Girl, I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna add some blush and then we're gonna figure out the rest. Maybe I don't need to powder it though. I feel like powdering is not necessary when you're just running out the house, right? I do no powder so I can have a glow. My skin is already dry. I'm gonna take my blush. I didn't even show y'all what blush I was using. I'm still hot. I'm still sweating. This is the lip bar powder quad thing that I've been using for a while. I love that. What shows have y'all been watching? Oh girl. Housewives of Beverly Hills, so good. I'm a real, real Housewives girly. I've been watching Love and Marriage, Huntsville, Bell Collective. What else? Girl, I watch all the reality shows. Basketball Wives, mostly Orlando. I'm not really watching Basketball Wives, the other one with Evelyn and them. I'll be like, girl, y'all, <laughs> y'all need to do something else, okay? Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Basketball Wives. I definitely don't. I want to say I don't like Shawnee like that, but Shawnee, she weird to me. <laughs> She's weird to me. And I'm watching Real Housewives of Potomac. But the, girl, it's a mess over there. Cause Robin is silly in the face with that man. Looking real silly in the face. 
already did my eyebrows, so let's try black. Uh, do I want black? I don't want black. Can I try brunette? Will brunette show up? I don't feel like brunette's gonna show up on my skin. Maybe. Okay. So this is a NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color brunette. It's basically, can you see it? It's almost, okay. It's the right tone for the hair. As long as it shows up a little bit, it works for me. Actually, brunette's not too shabby. Hold on. I thought it wouldn't show up on my skin, but it do. And I like it. Let's go put this into the eyebrow. Oh, I'm getting another hot flash. What is happening? Oh, I'm on my period. I get hot flashes on my period. Wow, I need to blend this together. I look ridiculous. <laughs> I need to blend my face out because this, I look, Girl, I look unblended as hell. This is crazy. I need to find a powder to set my face with, like a, a like a, a skin tone translucent powder. I probably need to get one from Laura Mercier or just another soft focus powder because, how long have I had this, over a year? What color is this powder? It's a little light. Oh, well, it's not too light. A little bit. This is the lip bar set the tone finishing powder. This is in the color Golden Girl. So um I feel like I'm definitely not Golden Girl, but I need to just blend out my face. Oh girl, not see, don't trust me. Ever, 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 <laughs> ever. I look a fool. So what am I gonna do? Cause this isn't gonna work out for him. What I have going on with my face. It's not gonna work out. This isn't gonna work out. <laughs> what? Why didn't y'all stop me? Y'all know I don't make good decisions when I'm brushing. Why didn't y'all stop me? I'm blaming y'all. Y'all ain't no friend. Y'all ain't no real friend. I'm blaming y'all. I'm blaming y'all big time. Sheer finish loose powder in chestnut. Um, It's a little bit deep. Let me see what this is talking about. Oh, this is a little bit red. It's just like a little bit too deep. But I'm gonna spread it all over my face. I just need something to blend all this together. I don't even know if that did that, but I'm really looking, like y'all are disappointed in me. Cause I said I was gonna do better with looking orange and I, I apparently lied to your face. And what time does um Norse from clothes? I don't even know. Am I getting ready for nothing? <sighs> I should just never do things when I'm hot. I should have cooled down because my back is literally sweating. So I'm gonna take, where are you going girl? I'm gonna take the NYX Wonder Stick um, contour. I think this is in the color deep girl, but I'm using the highlighter side. I'm just gonna highlight my cheeks real quick. I know y'all see the sweat. I mean, I'm... And now I gotta get this lace. See, that's why I shouldn't have put no makeup on. I should've just walked out the door and knew I was cute the way I was. But I have pictures to take. So for the hairline, um, since I have on um, makeup, the hairline is sticking out like crazy, like a sore thumb, baby. She's Stick it out. Hey girl, I was over here screaming. Battery died, I'm sweating. I feel like, oh girl, not my titty out. Oh my God. But we're calming down a little bit. Cause it's, I think I'm getting anxious because it's getting dark and I do this every single time. Like it starts to get dark and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I gotta go. We're gonna add a little bit of mousse to, lace tint mousse to my lace because it's like not blending in now because I put on my makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this lace tint mousse. It's from Amazon. I'm just gonna take a little brush. This is the Dola hair mousse. I'm not even telling y'all what it is. This wig did not need lace tint before. It melted right into the skin, like right into the skin. But now that I put on makeup, I gotta blend it. I'll let me know what sort of tricks do you use, but when I used to put my wigs on with my makeup, I feel like that helped. But y'all see, it looks a lot better. But 
if you let it get into your skin, it's gonna highlight the line between your skin and the lace, so you gotta be careful with that. I'm just gonna keep blending it. This, the lace is actually so seamless, like in person, you cannot see it. But on camera, it's like right here. And I don't even, girl, who sent you? I think this is good, right? Cause I don't feel like messing with it. If you still see it, girl, I don't know what to tell you because <laughs> I'll be going through it, honey. So I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna use the NYX Line Loud lip pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. And I wonder if I should do lip gloss or lip color. I'm feeling like a lip color, but lately lip colors have been weird to me. I don't even know why. I need to find a new lip color because I find a lip color is just really, really difficult. It feels like for me and my skin tone. So I just, girl, I just be chilling. I'll be like, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna use the NYX Lingerie. This is the only lip color I use, and I don't even like this color, Cabaret Show. <laughs> you could tell I'm on my period, girl. The attitude is raging. It's just like a weird pink. You know, like it's cute, but it's like a weird pink. But how I like to fix that color is to take a blush, and I like to use my Snacker Rooms blush. <sighs> Rub that all over the lips, and then I'll take like a little bit of the Snacker Rooms blush. This is in the color Freshly Baked. And I'll add that to the lips so I get more of a flushed color and less of like a, you know, like boring color. I don't even know how to describe it, but like it's a flush color. And then we're just gonna hit the face with the spray and baby, this gonna be it. I don't, <laughs> okay. So I'm spraying my face down with this, um, the same primer. This is a prime set and refresh, so. It's supposed to make you look dewy and like it's a really really good i love that stuff y'all know i live for it so do you know like we <laughs> i'm so sorry girl was this a makeup tutorial or a rant i don't know but do y'all know when you um like when you just start screaming <laughs> when you're by yourself i just did that let me let me get to the door okay i'll see y'all in a second let me go ahead and get changed okay y'all this is a fit that i'm wearing okay so this is something simple girl this is my go-to uniform in the fall for when I'm uh, running errands. I'm not gonna do a full camera because I don't feel like it. I'm already not in the mood, but this is what it looked like. These sweatpants from Top Shop, And this top, I have no idea where it's from. I got it a while ago. So this is the look I'm going for. And I'm just gonna spray on some, I'm gonna be, the wood and sage. I guess I'll do this. Wood, sage, and sea salt from Jo Malone. I'll do this. I forgot I had this. This is pretty. Let me get some in the hair too. Okay. Oh, not in my face. Oh, it smells good. Okay. So yeah, this is a finished look, y'all. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to Nordstrom because they close at seven and right now it is 6.04. And the Nordstrom that I go to, I don't know if I'm close enough to make it there on time. So uh, we're gonna see if we make it, but either way, Girl, this is what it looks like. Look at the hair. This hair is so gorgeous. And it's been a long time since I've gotten silky hair. And baby, I love the silky on us. It just doesn't hold a curl that well because I just had to recurl the front. The ends are fine, but I had to recurl the front. The, it was flattening out, but that's okay. I love the look. I love the color. Why African hair did that this looks so good in the makeup i actually like how it turned out it's a little bit slotchy um for the skin i think the skin actually ended up looking good it was really extreme looking at first but now it's kind of settled down like i just be need my makeup to settle down girl give it some time so y'all tell me what you think do you like it you like it do you like it you like it <laughs> did i go a little bit too orange this time i don't know i don't know what orange is i've been thinking orange is tan but sometimes a girl, sometimes a girl just needs to be orange. I want to say thank you again to Wild African Hair for sponsoring the earlier portion of this video. I truly appreciate it. Oh, do I got a package? I'm so sorry I was distracted today, but y'all know I've been all over the place. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully y'all enjoyed this get ready with me. The chat, I'm so unhinged, but y'all know me. <laughs> y'all know who I am. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.